Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pink Fairy. I got my um, water here, and then I got my three of them here. I had I do I try to do six a day. That's a hundred and two hundred and two ounces. Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. This is a pink fairy video. She definitely does not smoke, guys. I don't know why I have like a weird accent when I did the smoker's voice. But yes, this is a pink fairy video. Actually, this is a two for guys. We're doing two for one. Now she has been talking in the titles in the titles anyways, about her uh, diabetes. So this one is called Sugar Numbers Are Bad, slash, slash, What I Ate Today, slash, slash, Bring Them Numbers Down. So that's the first one. I really cut out a lot because she doesn't talk a lot about her diabetes, but um, what she, little she does talk about, I left in, and we're gonna talk about it. You guys know the Drillio, leave a comment down below, hit likeity like, and subscribe if you want to. Let's get into it. This is her dinner in the crock pot. And then I'm gonna do potatoes on the side, because I can't have potatoes. But my family can, they're not diabetics. Like me. First. Okay, so I'm going to beg to differ that diabetics can have potatoes. Um, yeah, they are a carb for sure. Um, but I guess it matters how they're prepared. It matters portion control as always. But um, her cooking them for her family, okay. I've always said that um, if someone is diagnosed with something in the family, it's not just the one person that's you know, taking on the diagnosis. It can be a whole family type of situation. The snack of the day is going to be one of these uh, cheese sticks. And I'm now drinking me a diet. Diet Dr. Pepper with it too. Hey guys, I'm doing the bacon now, or the chicken bacon wrap with little to no space. All I can do eight because there's only eight pieces of bacon. So the rest of the chicken We'll just have to figure it out. What we'll do with it. <clears throat> I love this turkey bacon. Okay. <laughs> Is that like a poultry on poultry uh, crime? I don't know. Um... She's having her turkey bacon, as always, wrapped in chicken fillets. By the way, I want to know how much that chicken pack cost. I know, like, here, that would cost, mm, like, a lot of money. Like, just a little pack of, like, four chicken breasts here. Um, like, $15. So good. Because this is the last bit. Well, get all these. I'll get more. I've been doing, trying my best today. My sugar numbers has been... Outrageously high. I got to. It's killing me. I sleep at night. You no, know, I've got to buckle down, start eating better. Okay, guys. Um. Okay, so she says her numbers are high. She doesn't give us a number. She never has. I don't know if she ever will, unless she's doing really well. Maybe she will. Um. And I kind of predicted this. I think everyone predicted that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure her numbers aren't great um reflected you know just reflected in her hauls she did a haul once I swear I like covered it and it was all processed food um she was mistaking like there is an onion I think which is one of the things that was not processed she was even mistaking that for a donut guys here's my second meal of the day yum yum now you guys um and with a little bit of barbecue sauce, not much. Just a tad bit, because it's got lots of sugar in it. It's not good for you, really, until I can find, get me some sugar-free kind. Because I don't really eat barbecue sauce a lot, honestly. But anyways, you guys have seen my dinner in tomorrow's video. So she's going to tell us, you know, she's going to show the pot roast well, later. we ran. I don't know if I show it. I can't remember. Editing KJ can't remember if she left it in or not. 
But um, interesting, she talks about the sauces. Someone I saw in her comments, by the way, her audience is paying attention. Those of you are saying that her audience is not listening to her for nutritional advice. If you're watching someone who says they're diabetic and you're diabetic as well, and you're watching them, yeah, you're going to be like, well, she can do it. I can do it just saying but um her audience did comment on the sauces and the marinades and how there can be sugar hidden sugar in it uh we went into town to walmart and picked up just a few things that we need trust me i wanted to get donuts but i didn't get them so got some bananas tomatoes some uncle lee's green tea zero sugar um Caramel. Metamucil. Spoiler alert. Metamucil is her new diabetic drug. Did I say that right, Metamucil? Yep. Some mouthwash. Some acid reducers. Some allergy pills. Some green olives. Strawberries. Yum. Blueberries. Yum. Tomatoes. Whole tomato. Two things. I call it cheese. Thing, a half and a half turkey meat, fresh ground turkey, two bags of chicken tenders, and some shredded Kobe jack. I don't know how fresh that <laughs> that turkey is if it's in those tubes, but whatever. By the way, this one is the second vlog. It's called Small Walmart Hall, New Meds for Diabetes slash slash mobile home living. And you know what? This haul, not bad, night and day compared to her haul probably even a month ago. Now, a lot of people, because you know what? You pink fairy stands, you come at me in the comments. We're saying it's Christmas time. That's like for her family, for everyone else. But I think we can deduce that all that stuff she was eating. And some shredded malchetta. Good morning, guys. Hi. I am up and at it, making me some coffee this morning. Got some green tea over here going. I used about four tea bags for this picture, and that's stevia. That's what I'm not going so far this morning. So I guess she's gonna ice that green tea. I've never seen anyone do it like that before. Um, usually, I just pour the boil boiling water over the tea bags and let it steep. But okay. That's different ways of doing it. I'm also having, of course, my coffee I just showed you. Eight ounces of this. I'll use um, some bottled water. And I'm going to use that glass to do my Madame Usual one. Eight ounces. This is um, sugar-free with stevia. I'm done on all of my medicine. So I take four medicine. That's it. Two sugar pills. A carceral pill. That's Danny, right? He's sitting there judging. And a water pill. So she takes two sugar pills, as she calls it. So I'm guessing that's a medication to lower her blood sugar. But she's also on the shot as well. Uh, the once weekly shot, which I'm 99% sure is Ozempic. And then she also has her cholesterol meds. So Metamucil... Uh, why it works and it's good for people with diabetic diabetes as well as people with um, cholesterol high cholesterol is because it's a fiber it's psyllium fiber you can see right there this one also forms a gel so when you eat it the fiber because it is a complex carbohydrate it actually makes you feel fuller longer because it stays in your system system a longer time to break down like think about complexity it takes a complex you know complicated route we'll say to break down um as opposed to a simple carbohydrate will just go right through you so it bulks you up it makes you feel fuller longer so you don't want to eat as much also this forms a gel in your digestive tract which clings on to cholesterol and blood sugar and sort of acts like um I want to say like a vacuum or a sweep and just sort of sweeps all that stuff up, sticks to it, and it goes out. If that makes sense. You guys, this stuff is gross. 
Oh, I can't do it. It is so thick and I think it's really just the texture. It's so thick. I don't know. I don't get it. It's, I can't do it. And my doctor really wants me to do this. She's told me twice. Twice. To do this. <clears throat> Apparently a lot of fiber helps lower your, uh, sugar numbers. Apparently. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. See? Mm -hmm. I'm learning something new every day almost. Yeah. Lots of fiber. And this has lots of fiber in it. Yes. So yeah. Please help me. So I have no clue what to do. Now I'm going to test my sugar. Yep. It's that done. Sugar testing done. I don't like doing this. It makes me tip of my fingers so, so sore. Okay, guys. So that's it. She doesn't show us her, uh, blood sugar number she is complaining about the taste and the texture of the the metamucil as he, she called it um and surprisingly not surprisingly her doctor I guess told her this is the second time she has to uh try it it seems like her doctor is throwing everything at her to keep her off of insulin but I don't know Anyways, uh, something scared her. I don't know if this will last. We'll find out. I appreciate you guys watching. By the way, there was one I missed before that was called Ate All My Carbs in One Meal, which I didn't even look at. I already addressed like doing that, how it's not healthy for a diabetic. And if your dietitian told you you can do that, fine. Um, but for a diabetic, eating all your carbs in one go is not it because you want to have an even you know glucose level throughout the day and eating all your carbs in one meal is gonna spike the heck out of it anyways guys i appreciate all of you guys thank you for watching and i'll talk to you later bye